EXUS Ambassador Manuel Rocha accused of being spy for decades. The indictment against a former U.S. ambassador to Bolivia is that he surreptitiously worked for, more than 40 years, as an agent for Cuba. Between 2000 and 2002, Manuel Rocha, the chief U.S. diplomat to Bolivia, was detained at his house in Miami. He is accused by U.S. Justice Department prosecutors of serving the interests of the Cuban regime. Unless it is done on U.S. territory without registering as a foreign lobbyist with the government, this is not illegal. The 73-year-old Rocha is accused of starting his A clandestine activity on behalf of Cuba in 1981 or earlier. Rocha made his court appearance on Monday. According to department authorities, it was one of the most extensive and persistent foreign agent infiltrations of the U.S. government. Prosecutors stated in court filings filed in Florida that he met with Cuban intelligence operators, lied to U.S. government officials about his travels and connections, and used a passport obtained through a false statement. The accusations show that the government is taking a tougher stance when it comes to prosecuting illegal foreign lobbying. Throughout his 25-year tenure as a U.S. diplomat, Rocha held top positions as head of mission in Argentina and ambassador to Bolivia. During the mid-1990s, when the U.S. did not have full diplomatic ties with Fidel Castro's communist government, he worked for the U.S. interest section in Havana. Prosecutors assert that Rocha was initially employed by Cuba's renownedly advanced intelligence agencies in 1981 when he joined the U.S. State Department. They further said that the supposed connections persisted for almost 20 years after he was fired from the ministry. It is said that the FBI set up several undercover encounters with an agent masquerading as a Cuban intelligence operator after learning about the contract last year. Rocha, who is Colombian by birth, enlisted in the U.S. Foreign Service in 1981. In his capacity as ambassador to Bolivia, he forewarned the people that the U.S. would stop providing help to the impoverished South American nation if they supported Evo Morales in the approaching election. In addition, Rocha worked as a Latin America specialist for the U.S. National Security Council and was stationed in Italy, Honduras, Mexico, and the Dominican Republic.